Welcome back to Fireside Chats with Gaslight. Today we have VP of Design, Haley Moore. <laughs> Welcome, Haley. Hello. Hi. Hey. Um, here you are. I'm Haley. We're so excited <laughs> for you to be here. Um, to start today off, let's go into how you got into design. Sure. So um, I studied uh, graphic design and marketing when I was in college. Um, before that, though, uh, I kind of, I think, sparked my interest when I worked on the newspaper and yearbook at my high school. And then I went to do that also in college, too. That was sort of like a, a continuity piece. But um, I studied design and marketing at Miami, and I really enjoyed that. Um, and then right out of school, I got a job with um, GNGF, which at the time was digital marketing for law firms. I think they may have like expanded a little bit since then. Um, but I worked, I had an internship at Cincy Chic. It was an unpaid internship uh, with Amy Scalia. She's the owner. She's really great. And she gave me like the sweetest recommendation to them. And that's how I met uh, Mark, who is the owner at GNGF. And so I... I also learned like sort of my, to hack my way through code, through front end code at uh, GNGF. And I'm not one of those people who like was naturally good at writing code. I was naturally anxiety ridden about <laughs> writing code. Um, but I learned a lot while I was there. I learned how to talk about design, which I think is such a big part of consulting. Um, but trying to advocate for why your design is important and why they should value it is really uh, a good learning experience when you're doing that with someone who's a professional arguer, being that they were all lawyers. <laughs> so <laughs> it helped me exercise those skills and that was good. Um, so yeah, that's how I got started in design. Well, that's awesome. Um, was that too long? <laughs> no, that was great. Okay. So then if you were in a law firm, how did you find yourself at Gaslight? Um, oh, yes. Yeah. So if I was working for GNGF, um, so I was uh, on the, I was starting to volunteer with AIGA at the time. Um, and my friend Ryan Kavia, who I worked with on the board, um, I think he was the president at the time, or, or he was leading the local chapter that they were doing. And there was a meetup, which I think might actually be what's the drink up now. Mm. Um, like the Cincy Web Tech drink up. And there was like a mashup of AIGA plus the drink up together um and while i was there he introduced me to um someone who worked at gaslight i didn't know at the time was an owner but i was talking to him and ryan like introduced me and and said you know what i was doing and i think i was really shy about like making that transition into tech or more development work but i was kind of hungry to learn more um i like there was a lot of opportunity for growth at my current job, but I wanted to push myself in sort of areas where I was less comfortable, which was kind of more in that front end. Uh, and the idea of like working specifically with software and applications more so than just web development. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, that's how I got that introduction. And then um, I talked with him and he encouraged me to apply for a position that they had. And I was so like nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that I think that I, I didn't send in my application at first. And I think he could sense that I was just being like really loyal to a company and the people that I really loved at GNGF, even though I was ready to make this. And so he um, he was like, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and move you to the next process and schedule an interview. And so that forced me to send my portfolio, obviously, before the interview. And then I talked to the really awesome team that I get to now be a part of. And... Um, yeah, that's how I got introduced to Gaslight was networking and hanging out with nice people and making friends and connections the old fashioned way. <laughs> Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah. And you've been with Gaslight yeah. for how long? I want to say November of 2015. Okay. That's when I started. So 16, 17, four and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Four and a half years now. Awesome. Um, and yeah. What is your favorite part being there for that long? Um, obviously the people. I feel like that's an easy one. It's I love everyone and I miss everyone so bad because they're all remote. I do like that I get to see people's faces virtually and talk to them like I am with you now. Mm -hmm. um, 
but people's great coffee is obviously fantastic and it has converted me into a snot about coffee um but i like the people and i like the really genuine passion to learn and try to do what's right for a user it seems like um all the designers all the developers when we're working on something um it's clear that we're all really passionate about like building the right thing for the end user Mm -hmm. and i like that we can all rally around that common cause yeah (laughs) i like it that's awesome well thank you (coughs) for joining us thanks for having me And everybody, thanks for joining us again with Fireside Chats. We will see you next time, and we are out. Bye.